Hey everyone, Professor Mike here with Santosa Martial Arts and Fitness. What we're gonna do now is just go over a real basic choke when you're able to take the back. We're gonna just say we did all the hard work, we already have the hooks in, we have the back. So the first thing I need to do is get my seatbelt. What we don't wanna do is put the overhook under the underhook because if she pulls that down, boom, I've lost my choking weapon. But if I bring the underhook over the overhook and she pulls that down, and then boom, I can slither that in. So we always wanna protect the overhook. Open the gi if that's possible. First one we're gonna do, guys, a real basic gi choke. I'm gonna open up this gi, and I'm gonna get my right thumb in on it. I'm not super tight, I'm kind of in the middle because I'm gonna use the gi. Two, I come across, thumb in, and now all I'm simply gonna do, guys, is pull down this, take the slack out of it, and then I'm gonna pull this to the side and get the choke. Look what I do with my, my overhook here. I'm not pulling like this. I'm just pulling down and then simply pulling my elbow behind the shoulder and then finishing the choke. If I want to average, um, add a little bit more control, I can roll to my side. If I can feed this through the crucifix, now I can pull and get the finish. So again, guys, thumb in, pull down, elbow behind the back, and then finish. A couple other options we can do from here. Once I have this in nice and tight, I can also circle this arm over, karate chop the neck. I can plumb the neck. I could also, if I'm rolling to the side here and I'm having a hard time finishing, I can bring my knee behind the back and same finish. So there's quite a few different setups we can do from here. And what's also really nice about this is if I'm going for it, and I roll to the side and I'm able to crucifix this and I can't get her, she's tapping, but she leaves this arm exposed, then we can slither in and start attacking with the arm lock. So this is a great thing we can do at home. If you're able to put a gi on your mom and dad or your wife or husband and just simply, no defense, just boom. One, two, tap. One, two, circle. Don't do it like that, circle, cut the crown, finish. Just different ways to finish the choke so you start getting comfortable with how you finish it, okay? Then you can add the crucifix to the side, maybe start setting up the underhook for the arm lock. Um, a lot of different things you can do at home. Just make sure you get that comfortability, getting the right angle of the gi, and then talk to your partner. Make sure they feel it, okay? As always, any questions, let us know. Thank you so much. See everyone soon.